they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clear in the frown. Danger zone. Yeah, this that danger zone. I got these niggas on lock. I ain't never gonna stop. Okay, hey y'all. We in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Steph G. What's up, y'all? Steph G in the building. Steph G. So we're going to play a little icebreaker to get you loosened up a little bit. All right. Okay. Who, one sentence for your ex? Fuck you. Last song you listened to? Icebox from Like a G. Okay. What are you most lazy about? Um. Um. Um, laundry. Okay. Yeah. I think laundry. everybody is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Too much is never enough of. Um, stuff G. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The final answer. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. I'm okay. not playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Worst song ever. Mm, worst song ever. The SpongeBob song. Really? Yeah. I hate like that the song. Theme song. Yeah, yeah, no, the SpongeBob one where they was doing a little feet thing. Y'all yeah, know, I that's the worst song ever. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know what song I'm talking about, right? I don't know, feet thing. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh, oh yeah, okay. not the theme song, but like okay. the one with the SpongeBob dance. Yeah, okay, okay. I was like, damn, the theme song. <laughs> All right. Favorite one hit wonder. Um. Uh, I don't know. All right. Yeah. Which rapper would you not let date your daughter? Not let my daughter, um, Nick Cannon. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And Clip. Who's the most underrated artist? Me. Celebrity crush? I don't have a celebrity crush. Okay. And the last thing you spend money on? Hair. Okay. We always need hair. Yeah. We always need hair. <laughs> so let's get into it. So tell people a little bit about where you from. I'm from Brooklyn. Okay, really? Brownsville, Brooklyn, yeah. I, was, I thought you was from the Bronx. Everybody always thinks I'm from the I'm Bronx. Sorry, Why? I thought you was from the Why? Bronx. Why? Because I'm half Spanish. Like, I don't understand. Like. Nah, because I'm from Brooklyn, and I'm like, yo, she, she, I, mm. what? Nah, I'm so from Brownsville, Brooklyn. I'm from like Brooklyn, so I'm like, Damn. yeah, nah. Everybody always thinks I'm from the Bronx. It's like, it's crazy. I mean, no disrespect to the Bronx, but I'm from Brooklyn. No, disrespect from the Bronx. I'm Fuck it. <laughs> Disrespect to the Bronx. I'm from Brooklyn. Like. Not a Bronx or anything. But how did you get started into music, though? Um, honestly, I always been like into the culture. I used to be a choreographer, so I was always in tune with music, like since young. Yeah, like I was always like. Everything I, I revolved myself around was music. Okay. But if you mean, like, getting really, like, into Thanks rap, to go, yeah. yeah. Um, Honestly, I just felt like it was time. I'm, I have an event planning business, mm -hmm. and I was doing that for a little while. And honestly, one day I looked at myself picking up boxes, and I was like, this is not what I'm in this. I like, this is not what I'm here for. Like, okay. I'm meant to be something big, and you know, like, mm -hmm. I always used to write and shit. So I was like, I'm going to try it. Okay. And welcome to your first studio session. Like, was you telling your friends you're going to try it? Because you went from event planning. Yeah. They was looking at me like, Steph. You <laughs> they a was, rat? Yeah. Like, they was like, you dead ass. Like, my manager right now, he was, like, telling me to stick to event planning. So, my first studio session, it was like, that's when everybody was like, oh, all right. Maybe okay. we could do this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, they was so they were supportive getting on board or it took a little time? For, after my first session, they was supportive. Okay. But before, when I was telling them, they was like, nah. Okay, so they had to hear it first. Yeah, basically. Okay. And then um, when hearing it, did you release that first song ever? No. <laughs> so how do you feel? Hell no. How do you feel about it now, though? I hate it. Okay. Honestly, even the first song that I ever put out, it was called Running. I'd be embarrassed. Like, my first two... I, I'll say my like my first two tracks. I'd be like, yo, can we, like, delete it? They're like, nah. Like, they're like, let people see your growth. And you feel like you want you want to delete it though? I want I still want to delete it. What don't you like about them? I just feel like I just sound so much better now, and I okay. feel like now I know the direction of music that I want to go. Like okay. it's just I don't know. You know, like when you first start something, you be a little <laughs> embarrassed. Like, yeah, like not the first I, one. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, but you being a choreographer makes sense because I was saying, like, you be dancing in videos. Yeah. Because they don't be... Girl, I be getting down. Yes. <laughs> and when you perform, you always have dancers. Mm-hmm. So I think... So dance is important to you for the whole... Yeah, that's why, career. like, um, when people see that I have dancers, it's not like, oh, Steph just wanted to add dancers in there. It's really a part of who I am. Mm-hmm. Like... I have to have dancers in my like you know whenever I could because you know everything's a budget or whatever yeah. so I try to incorporate them the most I can. Okay, and do you feel like dancers don't get enough support in the industry? I feel like they don't get paid enough. Okay. I feel like they don't get the recognition the recognition that they deserve because it's like you know first of all it's a whole bunch of dancers mm-hmm. like so it's it's you know I always try to shine light on them the most okay. I can because of that. And do you think TikTok is helping or hurting? I think TikTok is helping. My mm-hmm. team get be on my ass because of that. They be like, Steph, TikTok? I'm on TikTok, but I'm not on TikTok, if that makes sense. I'm about to say, if you a dancer, why are you not dancing Yes. I, girl, <laughs> I need to get on it. I need to get on it. I ain't going to lie to you. Okay. So, like, because, you know, like, dances right now are starting trends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, you, you, um... You doing some of the trends or you ain't doing nothing? No, yet? but I'm going to start. Y'all going to start seeing me. You know what it is? Time. I don't know what it is. I just can't, like, I never go on TikTok. Like, my my, my mind is, like, go on Instagram. Now I'm starting to get on Twitter. Twitter. Now next up is TikTok. I'm going to be on there. Y'all going to okay. see me soon. So you fucking with, like, the hips against 30 and all that? Stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. I, I can't really. I feel like I'm too thick to get 30. <laughs> <laughs> I be trying, be like, yo, I gotta get it together. Okay, so do you feel like I mean, you being a choreographer, was we was we doing that back in the day? Like, I don't remember. That, I feel like now like, everybody know how to dance. It's okay. like really? I feel like it's more of a, like a broad, like everybody knows how to get sturdy. Mm-hmm. Everybody know how to do like the little hips or whatever. Yeah. I feel like back then, if you know how to dance, it was like, oh my god, they could oh, dance. Okay. Now god. it's like it's like a requirement on TikTok. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that ass. that's what I'm saying Like do you think TikTok was helping or hurting Because like some people don't some, It's some artists that don't dance That be like nah I'm not doing TikTok Because I'm not dancing mm-hmm. So I feel like yeah It it could hurt some people But I just feel like you just got to get in tune It is what it is right. So um, before Well you was You was, you was bartending too mm-hmm. right? So you, that was before event planning or after Yep so I started bartending and then I left bartending. I started my own business. Was there a reason you left? Um, I just felt like, I don't know. I just felt like it was, my time was up. I feel like, I didn't even do it for long. I literally did it only for like two years. Okay. I got my name up. What makes you feel like your time was up though? I just felt like that's not what I wanted to do anymore. It was just a lot of bullshit going on. Okay. So the drama wasn't working. It was, yeah. It was just, it was just too much. People say they make good money. No, you make great money right. in bartending. So you're saying the drama was not worth the, it, the dollars? It was not only that. I just felt like it was time to move on. Okay, great. So yeah. then you did event planning? Yeah, so I started my own business. It was going good. I stuck that first, of course. But I am really like that. Like, when I'm determined, I make sure I become good at whatever I'm doing. Okay. So I got, I got really lit. I started doing my, you know, I still have it. It's just, yeah. you know, I do both now. Okay. So you were still doing event plan, planning thing? Well, now I don't have the time to yeah. actually do, okay. go do it myself. Yeah. But you I have a team, you? yeah, okay. Okay. that handles it. And then music. So you've been doing music for how long now? I'm fresh. I have like a year and some change. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where do you see the music going for you? next like five years where's Steph G gonna be I'm gonna be big okay like what's big to you like what I'm gonna be a superstar a mega star loud, like, yeah like I definitely overseas? see myself everywhere okay. I see myself international especially with the type of music that I do oh, yeah. I feel like I'm not just New York okay. I feel like I'm more worldwide and you know it's just gonna take a little time but it's gonna get there yeah and I see you incorporate the Spanish into your yeah mm-hmm. you're gonna keep doing that so everybody loves it they feel, feel like, like it's creative it, it makes you stand out yeah that's what i be trying to tell my team i'm like I, everybody tells me the same thing which you just told me they be like even the labels they be like saying like oh the spanish drill that makes you different so i still okay. definitely want to still incorporate it but i don't want it to be where people see me like that's all she does okay so i'm still gonna do it but i'm gonna still be doing other stuff too okay so they saying spanish drill labels i'm hearing labels that's what they're saying so you feel like you drill I don't feel like I'm drill. Like I feel like my drill is different. Okay. And what do you feel like makes the song drill though? Um, I feel like the cadence. 
Beats, lyrics, or just the cadence? The cadence and some lyrics, too. Like, yeah. I feel like when I jump jump on drill, people don't really look at it like, oh, she's drilling. I feel like they just like, okay, she makes it sound good or whatever. You know, it's like a bop. But when other people drill, I feel like it's like, all right, now, nah, they, like, they're talking about really, you know, spinning the block. <laughs> and I'm not really talking about that. So, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's different for me. Okay. So, what what type of artist, I guess, would you want to be known as? Um, definitely versatile. Um, versatile. yeah, so definitely. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't want to okay, put myself well. in a box. So, do you feel like you're still figuring out what lane you're going in, or are you trying to working on being versatile now, or like, what do you think? Well, in my tape, I feel like my tape definitely showed the lane that I'm trying to go, mm-hmm. which is I have like a little like trap R and B. I have, mm-hmm. I still have drill, and yeah. I still have like boppy music. Yeah. So I feel like that's the lane that I'm focusing on. So. Bobby music definitely something to dance to. Yeah, like club music. Right, because then... And then I have some heartfelt shit in there, too. Because then P, y'all was dancing. Which one? P. Push. It's not pushing P or power. Oh, P power. P power. <laughs> People, that's for the ladies. Yes. Yeah, that's for the ladies. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I did that like a year ago. I just put it out. So you be holding music. I be holding music. I have, a, I have an issue with that, though. Out? A year ago. I did that when I first started rapping. Okay. So, people... I, I think nowadays people are struggling with making Thomas music. Do you feel like you're making Thomas music? Or do you feel like you could hear something from a year ago and be like, nah, I want to fix it or I want to do it over? Like, what do you think? And that's my problem. I always you hate my music. But my team, like, Steph, you have to put it out. You might not like it, but they're like, your fans might like it. So, put it out. So, that's really like a constant battle between me and my team. It's like... What we make you not like it though? Like it's you. I get over music because I just feel okay. like I get better. Okay. I feel like now I understand the type of music that my fan base like. Okay. So. And so they're liking the poppy stuff that you're doing right now. I feel like they still like my real shit. Yeah. But that's my thing. Like it's like it's a battle because I have people that they're so used to like my real music, but now I'm trying to transition to a more commercial space. Okay. So it's like. Because Danger Zone was the. That was I love Danger Zone. I'm, I haven't given up on Danger Zone, by oh, the way. Yeah. No, I'm not saying you gave up on it, yeah. but I'm like, I feel like when I hear you, that's the first song I think of. Yeah, people be like, yo, abusadora. They be like, what does that mean? I'm yeah. like, I know. Like, I still have faith in Danger Zone. Not for real. What does that mean, though? Abusadora? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. It basically is like a, a woman that take advantage of men. Like, she... It really means abuser, but that's okay. not how I'm using it. Like, okay. the way the original song uses it is like, oh, like a girl that she just knows she could get what she wants, so she abuses the power that she has okay. towards men. Okay, so you think that's a part that, I feel like that's kind of like, is that the way you're branding yourself? Is that kind of the image you want? Or? Well, the image, the image that I want is just like that fun girl that doesn't give a fuck. Like, I'm out yeah. here, I'm having a good time, I'm being me. Say what you want. <laughs> the reason I ask, because Steph G, what does the G represent to you, though? The G, well, number one is my last name. But, of okay. course, you know, my slogan is like a G. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a person like me. It really defines me. Like I, I feel like I'm really a G. Like, I do stuff that, you know, that really means something. I hold everything down. Yeah. I be chilling. I be handling situations okay. the way I'm supposed to handle it. Okay. It so means a whole bunch of stuff. Keeping it G <laughs> at all times. Facts. Okay. So, the industry right now, it's, the girls is winning. That's a fact. Who's the top five girls right now for you? Um, overall? Yeah, mainstream too. We don't got to do local. Um, I would say Lotto. Mm-hmm. Still Nikki, Cardi, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, who else would I say? Mm, the other two. Damn. It's just a lot. It's a lot of them. Um, oh, who's been showing you love lately or who you been listening to? Who's on your playlist right now? Do you know what's crazy? I only listen to myself. <laughs> and that's so horrible. She's listening to all her As an artist. No, seriously. Like, no lie. Like, when I went on vacation, that was the first time that I started listening to other music again. Okay. Like, I felt like, all right, this is my break. I was being normal, but I just, I be listening to all my unreleased. And, yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah. So is it that you don't play yourself? But I know you got to know the songs that's lit right now. And yeah. 
So is it that like you hear it around your friends or you hear it when you go out or like I most of the time I hear it when I go out. Or okay. in the radio. Sometimes I hear it on the radio. Okay. And I, I still try to, you know, stay in tune, of course, because I have okay. to stay in tune. But most of the time, I be listening to myself. Okay. Yeah. We're not asking because Glow Real is going going. Oh, right and Glow. Now. I love Glow. Okay. Yes, I love Glow. So people are saying, like, she's one of the girls that's making the guys, like, tune into female artists. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like when you make songs, you're trying to make it for guys and girls? Or, like, what's your thoughts on that? So... Originally, that was my goal. Okay. I was like, I want people, I want both sex to fuck with my music. Mm-hmm. But now as I'm getting more, you know, more in tune or whatever, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to just dedicate it a little bit more to my ladies. Okay. Because I feel like ladies really like buy your music. I feel like mm-hmm. ladies really tune in. Oh, yeah. We start. We get everything litty. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so now I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to get a little bit more into my girl, like my girl shit. Yes. Do you feel like you're a girly girl or a tomboy? Like, what do you think? Because you be dressing cute, but you I be dressing cute, but I'm a real ass right bitch. Now. So it's like, I don't even know. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm, I'm both. So it depends on the day. Yeah, it really depends on the day. But I, I like to look good. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, like, what's the priority? You're going out, you got an event, maybe you're hosting or booking. Five things most important. My hair got to be on point. Okay. My makeup got to be on point. I got to have some money. You got to have some money. But you're getting paid. So you're getting paid to go. I'm getting paid to go. I still got to have my own money. You don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. I got to have my own. (laughs) I got to have my own money. Um, I got to have a fly fit. It don't got to be fly. I just mean fly, like, be put together. It don't got to be name brand, anything so like that. So, when, when you say fly fit, meaning it could be a girly fit or it could be a tomboy fit. Facts. It doesn't matter. Just it doesn't matter. Fly. Just look good. Okay. And then, I definitely have to have my lip gloss and my pencil, like, to re, you <laughs> okay. know, reapply. Okay. Touch ups, touch <laughs> yeah, I would say those five. Okay, like, who's, I guess, your go-to when going out, though? Like, do you have friends? It seems like you be by yourself a lot. Yo, Low people key. been saying that. People like kill stuff like she be. But I'm like, I'm not. I'm not weird I don't like even that. See a story in a spot when y'all smoke a hookah. Not really. Like you be real low by yourself. I be like nah. That. I'm always with my guys. Okay, that's one thing. I'm always with my guys. But they be like stuff like you gotta hang around. I have cousins. Okay, but my cousins they be doing their own shit. So I just okay. I really be with my guys. When you did the um. When you did the four shooters only, the front of block freestyle, mm-hmm. I thought those girls was your friends. But then I started watching more. I'm like, oh, those are just dancers. Yeah, but they're my friends too. Okay. okay yeah, right. they became they became family. <laughs> Very cool. For a fact. Okay. So is it that you're not really trying to like lock in with no girls? Is it that no. your homies are close? Or like, what is it? Nah, it's just. Girls is like just drama. Yeah, it's just- honestly, it's. Definitely, I feel like mm-hmm. girls are a little bit more dramatic than guys, but yeah. that's not what it is. It's just that's how it been. Like I'm very, okay. I be chilling with my with my guys. Oh. Okay, and I was gonna say, New York gets real political, and I see you're not really in none of that stuff. How do you like dodge all the? You see what you just asked me? <laughs> That's how I dodge it. By keeping a little bit more to myself. Yeah. But when I'm around like people, I'm a whole vibe. So it's like, it's just if I'm around, I'm around. If I'm not, I'm not going to force my way in. Mm-hmm. So I honestly, I just try to say to myself as much as much as I can. But, you know, I'm not on some weird shit where I can't talk to you or yeah, whatever. For sure. Yeah. But yeah. But even, um, but how do you even feel overall about I guess the ladies in the industry sticking together, we like to say. Um, Cause you- I love that. Mm-hmm. I love when I see that, that girls stick together. I feel like that's how it should be. Mm-hmm. It should be less cattiness and more people trying to work together. That's mm-hmm. how I feel like it should be. Yeah, I feel like the girls are definitely doing their thing. And I feel like y'all moving a lot more than the guys are right now. I feel like people are accepting women more, uh-huh. which is like a, it's a great thing, but... Yeah, I'm, I don't have a problem with that at all. Okay. And so, like, what would you say is, I guess, your biggest accomplishment this year overall? Mm. Definitely putting on my tape. Okay. <laughs> I would say putting on my tape have because... Have been sitting on it for a long yes, time? Yes, that's the thing. I've been sitting on it, but I've been sitting on it for good reasons because my the last additions to the tape mm-hmm. were one of the best additions to the tape. Okay. So, I feel like it was like, okay... You weigh in to make sure that your project is exactly how I want it. It's never going to be perfect, mm-hmm. but I feel like it was solid. And was it that you always felt like it wasn't ready or you wanted more features? Or like what was? Nah, it wasn't even about features. I just I just wanted it to be the way I imagined it. Okay. 
And when I first, because I wanted to put on my tape the first two months that I came out. I wasn't ready. Okay. And I feel like nobody was going to listen, too. It's like okay. people, I'm still, you know, I'm still gr growing a fan base to this day. So mm -hmm. I feel like I just needed time. Okay. Yeah. Time. And then how did you know it was the right time? Was you feel like you had the body of work? You feel like you improved enough to where it was ready to release a project? Like I feel like it was time. time. It was just like that feeling. Like okay. I can't even that explain it. Yeah, it was just like, all right, it's time. It's put it out. Just put it out. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely unexplainable. And then, hmm, okay, your music videos. Creative. Every time. Which What's your favorite one? My favorite one, I think, is Power P. <laughs> Only because y'all huh? was in the gym. <laughs> oh, P Power. Yes, and y'all had the moves. And then I liked it, the graffiti on the tees. It was really like. Yeah, I try to get real creative with my videos. That's yeah. one thing that I, I always said. I was like, if y'all ain't going to hear my music, y'all don't see my videos. cheese when y'all went to passing out chopped cheese. Yeah, we did that in Texas. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it was yo, like, yo, she's crazy. <laughs> Y'all traveling with it too. Yeah. So do you like like people say like New York is like kind of like crabs in a barrel bucket, crabs in a barrel type of thing. Do you feel like that? Do you feel like you get more love when you go out of state, or like what do you what do you thoughts on that? I definitely I love my city, but I feel like every time I get go out my city, I get crazy love mm. and it's i just be like damn like i want this from my city okay like i don't want it just when i go to texas or when i go to connecticut i want it in my city but you mm -hmm. know what i learned to accept it and mm -hmm. i learned that just it is what it is and mm -hmm. the city will follow eventually how do you feel about the whole king of new york thing the king and like queen of new york yeah when people be like oh we, i'm the king of new york and six now was doing it now little tj then five it was just like a lot of um i feel king, like queen things yeah i mean i even said it in my song i feel like it's like an ego thing type thing mm -hmm. um i feel like nobody could really take that title okay do you feel like we have one though or nah it's nobody in the in versus like king yeah like king and queen of like new york i guess do we have one I feel like it's not everybody doing anything type shit. I feel like, of course, there's going to always be somebody that's more relevant. Like, you know, Nikki, she got that. Mm -hmm. So with King, I don't know about King, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guys be, they be arguing about that. Yeah. Even, yeah. Yeah, the guys just be going they, back They be going back and forth with it. But I feel like a lot of people agree when it comes to, like, the queen and shit. For sure, for sure. So you feel like you're a barb? Um, I wouldn't say a barb, <laughs> but I fuck with Nikki. Okay, cause the bars be going crazy. They do. They be, go, like, they, they be going in. That's why I, don't, I'm like, that's why I don't, wouldn't call myself a barb okay. because I'm not there. Like in You're the not internet, into, okay. I'm not doing that. But okay. I fuck with her. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's okay. So okay. Do people confuse you with Chef G? All the motherfucking time. <laughs> I be like, it's Steph G. Stop playing with me. Not Chef G, Steph G. Like, okay. They be like, oh, this is this is Chef G little cousin. I be like, no, the fuck is not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, stop playing with me. They're like, oh, she from Brooklyn too. Okay, it's Steph G. Like, stop playing with me. <laughs> but the, has he reached out? Well, he been in jail for like a The minute, funny but. part is that I don't know if you saw my video, No Emotions. That was like when people first started paying attention to me. Okay. Go back to it, but he was supposed to be on that. Oh, what yeah. happened? Um, well, like we was just doing a lot of back and forth, and then he went to jail. So, mm. yeah, that's old. Yeah, but I wanted it because I was like, all right, y'all gonna keep talking about Chef G and stuff. G, we're gonna do a song together. That's nice. Like I'm that type. Like if you compare me to somebody, all right, we're gonna work together now. Okay, so since you say that, what's up with you and Dream Doll? Are y'all gonna get a song? That's eventually that's gonna happen too. Because people always they always they love like comparing me to her. Yes. All right. So long as yeah. we gonna get a song. Yeah. I fuck with Dream Doll. Okay. Right. So Halloween, you viral. Yeah. You dressed <laughs> up as you dressed up as Krishan Rock. Yeah. Was you expecting that that whole like? Whew, nah, I ain't expected that to go that crazy. All that year. I, like I knew it was gonna make some noise. Cause I was like, nah. Like you know what's crazy? Nah, I gotta tell you. You know what's crazy? Yeah. I did this look a week before Halloween. Real? Yes. So we held on to the look. Okay. We held on to it. And then I seen Lizzo 
on the blogs, I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, I was like, damn, I thought I, I was going to be the first one to do it. Because, you uh-huh. know, everybody always want to be, yeah. like, the first one to do something. Right. The, when I seen her, I got tight. But I was like, fuck it. I was like, it is what it is. I was like, I got the Mr. Tooth. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody fucking with my look. So then I put it okay. out, like, two days later, and then the shit just went... Viral. Went crazy. Yeah. Did she um hit you? Did she like it? Did she come? Yeah, she did. She was like she was honored or whatever. Yes. Yeah. So what like, made you do it? Like you been thought of that or like I've been thought of it. Was so you plan to be Christian for Halloween? Mm-hmm, I did. So you like her? Fuck her? Um, I thought it was a cool idea. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was a cool idea. And I yeah, I fuck with her too. How you feel about their whole relationship? She reminds me a lot of when I was younger. Oh, like okay. on some real shit Like okay. I was like that I was in a relationship And I was You know <laughs> I was infatuated With my man So mm-hmm. she re- really reminded me Of me when I was young Okay So that's one of the reasons Why I was like I gotta be her for Halloween Do you feel like It's a phase that we all Get over as women Or you feel like It might stick with you Or you feel like What do you think It's a phase So you think it's definitely Get overable Yeah For sure I'm telling you I was there Okay. And I will never touch that man ever in my life again. Okay. You so. Do you think Krishan will get to that point? She will. Okay. She will. Because right now, it don't seem Nah, like right now, she, <laughs> she still loves him. So, yeah. she's still going to be there. But eventually, that's going to pass. Eventually. Yeah. So, how do you feel about relationships in the industry? Honestly... <laughs> I don't like. I be having a whole bunch of guys, a whole bunch of rappers I, in my I DMs. That I fucking that. Yeah, like bet. I don't. I'm. I'm not saying it won't happen. Okay. But I just rather not right now. I feel like it's a distraction, to be honest. So, like, what's been like the? I guess the most craziest way that they've been shooting a shot, or they trying to get at you. Um, they always try to hit you with like less work. It's always oh less work. <laughs> and no, then it's oh come to my crib let's do this no ain't no crib ain't no okay. none of that yeah where the studio at we go to the studio it's a dub okay so yeah okay, it, it so always starts enough. off as just let's work cause they know that's how they are gonna get me but you know niggas might even go to extend like yo I'll pay for a feature like they, they, they even that do for, that they do that too right yes they, they even willing to pay but I, I read through people and like I'll be like alright so send me the song <laughs> send me this you ready let's go yeah. <laughs> And then it'd be, it'd just be all cap. So is it because you're more serious about how you want to push your music or is that you really not interested in the whole dating a rapper thing or whoever in the industry? Or do you feel like the time will come when it comes? Like, what do you think? Um, well, honestly, right now I'm just really focused, to be okay. honest. I don't need no distractions at all. Okay. It could be a rapper. It could be a nine to five. I okay. just, nah, I don't want it. No, nothing right now. Not right now. I don't want it. So I just feel like. When it happens, it's going to happen. That's it. Okay. And what do you feel like is the most common misconception about you? People think I'm stuck up. Really? They think I'm a bitch. I watch your interviews and it don't give that, though. People still think I'm a bitch. They, well, maybe if you watch my interviews, it's a little different. Yeah. But off, like, my Instagram and... You they, don't really, like, go live or, like, we don't really, like, hear you talk much on Instagram. Maybe that's It's what been a it while. Is. I ain't gonna lie. It's been a while. But I used to go live a lot. Okay. It's been a minute. I just been so busy with my tape. I, and you're right. I need to start going live more. Maybe that's why they think you stuck up. Yeah, you know, they just look know. at my pictures and they're like, yeah. oh, she's stuck up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, do you want to change that narrative or you don't care? Nah, I definitely, I feel like my team, like, they be on it. They be like, Steph, you got to show your personality more. Like, they like, people need to see who you really are. Not just in videos, not just on your pictures. Like, they like, you need to show people who you are. So I definitely want to, you know, be a how little do, bit more out there. How do you feel like you want to do that, though? Because people are doing the YouTube shit, the pranks, the that, Yeah, I have, I have a couple that? things in, 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 in works, in the works, to okay. definitely, like, Broadcast my personality a bit more. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna definitely go live more too. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go live right after this, <laughs> just for that. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I don't really say go live. I was here talk much. I had to see an interview. So, um, so yeah, definitely going live and talk to the people. Do you feel like a lot of artists are going on Twitch now and doing all this other stuff? Yeah, I've been hearing a thing about or a bad thing. I've been hearing about Twitch. Yeah, little baby was on Twitch. You should definitely know a little something about Twitch. Yeah, I, honestly, I haven't really tapped into Twitch like that. But yeah. my boy, he just told me he was like that. They be sending him money for no reason. No, they do. 
I need to get on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> that I but people kind of like joke at those artists that do get on Twitch talking about like they're not, then that's not like they're not being a rapper, I guess. Well, they say the like, same thing about reality TV. Like right. I got some offers for reality TV and, and I no. turned them down. Okay. Because I feel like sometimes reality TV definitely takes away from your whole mm-hmm. like rapping persona. They don't take mm-hmm. you serious. Yeah. I heard a couple people talk about it too, so Okay. Maybe that's the same situation with Twitch. Um, but you definitely would never do like reality TV? I'm not saying I never would, but not right now. Okay. And not right now because you definitely, because you just focus on music right now. I'm focused on music. I, I feel like I need to gain my, my full respect. I, I feel like a lot of people are starting to respect, but I want to gain my full respect as a rapper first. Okay. And then maybe I could do other oh, shit on so. the side. So would you do acting or? Yeah, I definitely want to do some acting. Okay. Okay, so you sampled If I Ruled the World. You was fucking with it? <laughs> yes, I was. I, how do you feel about like sampling like iconic kind of songs like that? Do you feel like it's harder to write? Do you get write as well? Yeah, of course. I know, but like sampling an iconic song too? It's harder. Okay. Like it's harder because people have such a high expectation mm-hmm. when it's Something that an icon did. Like, mm-hmm. if you're not going to out-rap them or make it creative in a certain way, yeah. I feel like you shouldn't do it. Yeah. Even then, that was, like, my beginning stages. I okay. did it. I was like, fuck it. But mm-hmm. I feel like my video was so creative, and I yeah. actually pay homage yeah. that people accepted it because of that reason. I still be getting um, backlash, though. You think so? They still, like, yeah, they still be like, oh, you cannot, you cannot do this. This is Nas. Like, I still got a couple of those, but... For the most part, it was good. Okay, do you feel like it's any song that absolutely should not get touched, though? Mm. Damn. Nah, I feel like... Really? You feel like any song is valid to get touched? Listen, the way everybody's sampling everything, no. nothing is... Honestly. I know. I don't know if I like that, though. Yeah, but nowadays, nobody has... They don't care. I think, like... I feel like if you're going to do it, you just have to do it right, and you should pay homage. Okay. That's what I feel. Yeah, nobody really paying homage. They kind of... If you like, pay homage, I feel like it's cool, but you got to do it right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, what song you think shouldn't be touched? Probably, like, a couple Michael Jackson songs. Oh, Michael Jackson. I love him. Oh, my God. Probably, like... Niggas was fucking with Aaliyah's song, so I can't even say her. Yeah. But um, I don't think those should have been fucked with. Just like some Aaliyah people and Michael that, Jackson. Some people that passed away that had, like, you know. But what's funny is they still touch it. Yeah, I know. Especially in drill. They're touching anything. Yeah. How do you feel about that whole, like, um, I guess, drill? How do you feel about drill overall? Let me see that. Um, I feel like it's something that... um. I just go back to, like, when I was younger, mm-hmm. and um, people, like, especially, like, my aunts and my uncles, they'll be like, oh, yeah, your yeah, music is trash. Mm. So I look at it the same way. Like, you can't judge the music because this is what the youth likes right now. Like, right. so I feel like you just got to respect it. I'm trying to think. When my mom used to play music, did I used to feel like it was trash? Some songs. Some songs we thought some was songs. trash. Some songs we did think was trash. We was just like, it. okay, like, we don't want to listen to this. We probably listened to, like, the cool shit, but a lot of songs we probably thought was trash. Yeah, like, we listened to, like, the few iconic songs probably that we thought was good. But I just look at it like, you know, the generation is changing yeah. every every few years. So you just have to adapt. Um, I do feel, though, like, Drill, I just wish it was a little bit more broad. I don't see it being international. Okay, That's the cool. only problem I have with Drill. Well... It kind of is because from UK drill, I guess. Yeah, but do you see it like global? Um, I would like to hope so one day. I, I feel like it has a potential to, so. but people just have to accept it. Okay. And what's the reason you think it won't go global? And I'll say my reason. I don't know. I'm just looking at how people like, like overall what people listen to. Mm-hmm. And um, I look at numbers. I'm very statistics or whatever. So mm-hmm. I just look at numbers like... Everybody has to accept it for it to be really global. It has a potential. Now nah, numbers lie. are definitely good. I was gonna say it, I don't. I think it's, it might. It's gonna take a while to go global because the dissing and people don't understand. And That's the thing. People are trying to get in tune with the voices. And yeah, because it's new. <laughs> it's new, but I feel like people just have to adapt. Even the whole Batman voice thing. I guess. How do you feel about that? I mean, 
It's not what I would do, <laughs> but I respect it. Okay. Because it's different. Okay. And it's definitely something that makes people stand out. Okay. Because you're not really hearing that everywhere. Yeah, you're not hearing that everywhere. Yeah, so I, I respect that it's different. So remember when the mayor and stuff was trying to like ban drill music and stuff like that? Yeah. Was you a little worried since people kind of say you like a drill artist? Was you worried? Um, I wasn't worried because... You knew what you had in the tuck. Yeah, it was like it was like okay, I do drill, but I have uh, I have other stuff too. So mm-hmm. it's like like it's not that's not my only form of rap. So okay. I wasn't really too worried. All right, but what are your thoughts on it? Do you feel like it's possible to ban it? Do you think people should ban it? Like, what do you think? Nah, I don't think it should ban it. Okay. Yeah, I I was not okay with that. I was like, you know, like that's a form of expression. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's something that defines new york too like new yeah. york is drill okay so i felt like that's that's fucked up i wasn't agreeing with that okay maybe change it up a little bit maybe if they have to but i don't think they should ban it do you feel like we'd be setting trends in new york hell yeah okay people love people from new york every okay. time i go out of state they love me so what trend do you think we set the Thames. the what the Thames. the Thames. definitely okay. the Thames. um yeah. The way our swag, I feel like our swag is and just different from everybody. Right. Like you could tell when you're from New York. Right. Um, so the reason I asked was because Diddy went on The Breakfast Club and he was like, New York ain't really starting no trends. He was more so talking about yeah, the music, though. I saw that. So what do you think on that, on the music side of things? I feel like that's kind of crazy of him to say because the way we do our drill, nobody else do it like that. Mm-hmm. So that's already a trend. Mm-hmm. So for him to say that we not setting trends is kind of crazy. Yeah. And um, how do you feel about, like, I guess the OGs kind of tapping in with the newbies that's coming up? I feel like it happens sometimes, but it doesn't happen much. I feel like it should happen more often. More often? Yeah, of course. Um, Like like how? In what way? Do, I feel would you like... See it more? Um, I like, feel like... The older people should definitely mentor more of the younger people because, you know, the older people are so quick to always be like, oh, the younger music generation is trash. Okay, so mentor us. Mm-hmm. And what what made you great? Okay. Why was you great? Help us become great too. Like maybe with my little flavor <laughs> and your, you know, yeah, like your mentorship, it could yeah. be something fire. Would you be open to someone mentoring you? Hell yeah. Like who? Give me an example. Um, definitely... Um, Lauren Hill, I would say like Missy because I love her creativity and her videos. Okay, I see yeah. that. Yeah, I see that. If Aaliyah was alive, okay. definitely Aaliyah. Okay. Um, Nikki too. Any Nikki. guys or just more of her world? Any guys? Yeah, Drake. I love Drake. Okay, Drake. Yeah. Drake's so <laughs> the thing I like about Drake is he be tapping in with the young people, but it don't always be music. Mm-hmm. So like he did, I seen he just did. He got a clothing brand coming and he put like. Um, Didi Osama and all the kids from Harlem and that's fire, yeah. But he also remember he was the first to kind of do the song with Fabio and stuff like that too. Yeah, kind of I so, feel like he always try to tap in yeah, what's going on. In. Yeah, in, so. but that's what makes him great too. Yeah, because it's not like he's not like in his head like no, it's just my type of music and I mm-hmm. don't know. He knows he has to tap in with the youth. Mm-hmm. The youth is was lit right now. Yeah. So I do know that you're a mom, right? Mm-hmm. You have a daughter or something. Son. Son? Okay, how old? Mm-hmm. Six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't talk about my son too much. Okay, yeah, because I, I know because I've seen the previous interview, but I don't see, like, no pictures. So that it's real I don't, private. I don't, it's I real have private. Two, but I don't talk about them. Okay. Yeah. So, do you filter what they listen to? That's why I asked. <sighs> music, so, music wise. When they on, like, YouTube and shit like that, and I hear some, like, like if I just hear curses, period. Okay. Like, what, what you listening to? What you listening to? <laughs> yeah. Or whatever. So I try, like, like I try to filter it, but I'm just like, whether I'm not, I'm here or not, they're going to listen to it. Mm-hmm. So I just try to talk to them a lot. Like, okay. I just be like, you know, like, you shouldn't be saying that. You shouldn't mm-hmm. be listening to that. Oh, this is not good. It's not what you're supposed to be doing. I just try to talk. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, do they know your music? Or do you, you yeah. ever play them your music? Yeah, they know my music. So they fuck with it? Yeah. Okay, so that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you try to make songs that they could also listen to, too? Or... Nah, okay. Really. <laughs> okay, at least you kept it a buck. At least you kept it a buck. At least you kept it a buck. That's why some songs I'll be like, yeah, you can't listen to this. <laughs> like, this is not for you. Okay, but is that something you want to work on though? 
like in the near future um maybe? so what i'm working on is just again, that trying to be a little bit more to. commercial okay right. whereas like even if the chorus at least the chorus could be kid friendly okay because i feel like kids are a big part of music mm-hmm and TikTok and everything. Yeah. So I'm definitely trying to make music where the kids could dance to. Mm-hmm. So everybody can dance to. Okay. So you definitely want to make dancing music though. For a fact. Yeah. Okay. How you feel about the whole Jersey Jersey sound? I, I, I'm the fucking Jersey with it. Out. I did one downfall. Okay. You know, I did it as a freestyle. I didn't really put it on my tape or anything like that because it was like a test. But mm-hmm. I, I'm a, I fuck with it. Um, any artists from it specifically, or just you just fucking with the whole? Nah, thing I'm just I'm messing with the mu- music. I don't really know the artists too much. Okay, but my engineer, shout out to Amrit, he's trying to put me on. He's like, all right. So if you're gonna be doing Jersey music, you have to do songs with this or this. So he's like putting me on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You seem like you only really like listen to yourself and like your team and your like close circle. Yeah, it's bad, right? Um, <laughs> so just. I, w- I just wonder, like, where you get your creativity from then? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I, I still listen to other people. Right. It's just not how I used to listen to it so before. Like, that. before, okay. I was, like, a music fanatic. Like, anybody mm-hmm. drop, I'm listening to the tape the okay. same day. Oh, so you're not there at 12 a.m. No, no I'm not at 12 a.m. <laughs> no more. Like, I'm going to listen probably, like, Couple the next days two days, okay. the next three days. I'm going to listen, but it's okay. just not, like, how it was before. So I still listen to other people's music. Okay. But like I'm outside, <laughs> I see I see yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I'm still in tune. Okay, are you listening to projects or are you listening to singles? I'm more or of a project you? person. Okay, yeah. So Drake Twenty One, you was fucking with it. Yeah. Favorite song? I would say um, Major Distribution. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That I, one, and it was another one, Circus, the Circus one. I think mine's is like Rich Flex or something. Oh, Rich Flex was fire too. That one too. Yeah. Yeah. So like. So, joint projects, how do you feel about that? Do you feel like you were doing? If I wanted to do one? Yeah. Eventually, not yet, though. Who would you want to do one with? I don't know yet. In the future, it, no? my, my dream feature is Drake, so whenever okay. he's ready, I'm ready. Whenever he's ready? Whenever he's ready, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, so, basically, you know, industry, the industry is very cutthroat. Have you learned from experience, or is that just what you hear? Um, I've heard stuff or mm-hmm. whatever, but I don't let that shit stop me. Like, it's not, it never been something so big where it affected my work. Mm-hmm. Maybe I haven't experienced it yet to where it's like, damn, this shit is really cutthroat. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, whatever happens, I just keep going. I don't go and fuck. have you ever been in a situation where you had to get G on a, on a situation in the industry? Or you felt like in they were the, trying to play with you and you had to put your foot down or any ever there was definitely this one time that we was in a showcase Mm -hmm. and they was trying to play me i was like the beginning too like they was trying to play me like with my music and when i was going it was it was some real crazy and me and my team you know you had to get a little crazy okay i feel like once people know they could play with you they keep playing with you so sometimes you just have to stop so once you set the record straight never happened again no Okay, good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so how what are your thoughts on like labels right now? Um, I respect the labels. Mm-hmm. I respect what they do, but I feel like I don't need them right now. Okay. Not right now. Not right now. Yeah. So, do you feel like an artist can make it like without a label though? Um, I think it's possible. Mm-hmm. It's just definitely going to be harder. Okay. Because I feel like the labels, they just have like certain perks okay. and they could just push you to another level. That's why I say I respect the labels because mm-hmm. they, so I feel like labels could do things that you by yourself, you can't do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, like when you drop, the labels is going to make sure everybody yeah. sees it versus up. yourself. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit harder for you to be out there. Mm-hmm. People are scared of labels, I guess, because of deals and certain contracts yeah. and stuff like that. Is yeah. that a concern of you? Do you feel like you know your research? What do you think? Yeah, this is why I'm very careful. And this <laughs> is why people be like, oh, are you planning to get signed? I'm like, yeah, if everything is right. Mm-hmm. Everything has to make sense for me. If not, I'm not signing. So what does it being right look like? Because, um, you know, people say, oh, I want a million dollars advance. But really, yeah, so you got to pay that honestly, back. Honestly, so for it's me, like, it's not even too much about, about that advance. It's also yeah. about, like, I definitely want to keep most of my masters okay i definitely you know it's just certain things that 
publishing. Yeah, publishing, all of that, it has to make sense for me. Okay. Do you want to keep your team? Are you open? I to definitely want to keep my team. Okay. That's another that thing. Fact. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm very loyal. Like I the people that's grinding with me, I definitely want them to be with me okay. while, when I'm signed as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm well I'm so let's say sign a deal. Mm-hmm. What is a big, I guess, gift or gesture you would do for your team for them being with you every step of the way? Well, I always say <laughs> they're here, so pressure now. Nah. Yeah, no. So my ideal thing is, okay. I definitely want to get like a big ass mansion. Okay, so you want live with them? Yes. Okay. I, I want my whole team. I want my whole team to live with me. Okay. Like, even if it's not with me, I'm gonna have my own house too. Don't get yeah. me twisted. Like I'm gonna have my own crib, and I'm gonna come when I need. I need my team around. Right. But I definitely want to get like a big mansion for my team. I want. The, I want to take care of them. Okay. They've okay. been with me, so it's so like it's only right. Okay. And definitely want to put them in position to make money. Mm-hmm. Everybody's getting a certain job. Okay. Being in the spotlight, does it ever get annoying that you can't like the move? most annoying part, I ain't gonna lie to you, is when I'm in the Ave and I look <laughs> like shit. And people be like, Steph G, <laughs> yo. <laughs> that gets me so upset because I'm like, damn, I be forgetting. Like people, yeah. like, you know, now I'm a little it's a little different. Like people yeah. do recognize me. Yeah. And I just can't be looking crazy. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes I want to go do my nails, and I just be looking crazy. Whatever, what yeah, like, I don't care. Though? Like, hello, like, I'm mm-hmm. outside. I'm doing my nails. I should be good. But now I'm like, all right, you're a public figure, so now you got to look a certain way. So I feel like that's the most annoying part for me. Getting dressed every time I have you to look step good. out the I door. I have to look good every time, and sometimes <laughs> yeah. I just be like, fuck it. It is what it is. Okay. So B. Simone had to the podcast, mm-hmm. and she's... I already know it's about to be some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she said that when she's working too hard, she might skip a shower or two. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. So I don't care how hard I'm working, I'm taking that shower. She's bugging. She said she's all the way she bugging. Said, she said if she showered Monday, she might shower again like Thursday. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Especially as women. I feel like us is different from okay. men. Like for sure. I agree. You know what I mean? No, like, I'm with you. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Nah, I just I need that crazy. shower. All right. I ain't going to sit here like, you know, if you had a long day and you Maybe slept tired. all day, but first thing in the morning you got to do is you got to go shower. <laughs> that two, three day okay. shit is crazy. Yeah. No. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Duh. So, definitely, definitely. So, I guess, Like a G is out now. Mm-hmm. Favorite song on there? You can't do that. Favorite song? You can't do that. All right. Somebody, you can't do that. Somebody that's never heard of Steph G, Like a G's out now. What song do you want them to listen to right now for them to get into? I can only pick one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to still say Danger Zone. Okay. I'm going to still say Danger Zone only because it has a little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to do a remix? I want to. Okay. I want to, but it got to be the right person. Okay. I ain't going to say the person either. Don't ask me. Okay. <laughs> female, male? Female. For sure, female. I bet. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I, I want a notch. female on it. Also, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. If it's after Danger Zone, I would say Pretty and Nasty. Okay. And I know for Pretty and Nasty, I want Lotto on a remix. Yes. Yes. That give me Lotto vibes. OD. OD Lotto vibes and it's streaming good actually. Yo, Pretty Nasty going crazy. Yeah. I, y'all gonna see what's gonna happen with Pretty and Nasty. Okay. <laughs> Pretty and Nasty. <laughs> Was you expecting that? Was you like. Honestly, we already knew we want to push Pretty and Nasty. Mm-hmm. So the streams didn't really like surprise me. Okay. But though how fast it is, is surprising me. Like I'm okay. like, people really like tuning into Pretty and Nasty. So. Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah. They definitely are. And then, um, yeah. So then what song do you feel like gets slept on though on the project? What song do you feel like people not really like paying attention, but you worked hard on it, I guess? I would say Icebox. Okay. Because Icebox is different. Okay. It's different from the music that I put out. Icebox and Not Worth the Trouble are the two like trap R&Bs that I put in there mm-hmm. because I'm trying to show the different side. Okay. And I feel like Icebox is definitely one of those that... One of those bangers? Yeah. I feel okay. like it's going to creep up on people. Creep up on people. Yeah. Okay. All right. So overall, the feedback, though, have you been enjoying the feedback you've been getting? Yeah. I definitely have. I feel like um, 
the more people tune in, the more feedback I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's all a waiting game. Um, the feedback that I have been getting, though, has been mm-hmm. good. Yeah. And I appreciate it because people telling me, like, the tracks that they feel, like, really hit for them, the yeah. tracks they wasn't feeling, so. Yeah. And you just did a major stage. Mm-hmm. Okay. I did it Monday. How was that? That was cool. It was good. We turned up, like always. <laughs> yeah. Was that your first performance since the project been out? Yeah, so I actually okay. got to perform like the new tracks. So. Right, yeah, that's what I said. So yeah. they was vibing with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was they was vibing. Okay, this is like, do when you perform Danger Danger Zone. I know that's the song that people like really like go crazy yeah, for. Yeah, that's why I always leave it for last. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like um, do you be nervous when performing a song that you feel like it, well that was your first time, but was you nervous performing it? Your project was just out. Like the, crowd, the new song? Yeah, the, the crowd probably didn't hear it yet or mm. tuned in after. No, or. definitely, because you never know how the crowd is going to react. Mm-hmm. So everything was really a test on mm-hmm. Monday. Like to yeah. see, you know, and that helped me too because it's like, all right, this is what people's vibing with. Yeah. This is when what people, yeah. So mm-hmm. I feel like it's needed. So. Okay. And do you have like, how do you, I guess, get ready for your shows? <laughs> how do I get ready for my shows? Um, well, I definitely have rehearsals. Okay. I definitely have rehearsals with my dancers. I try to have vocal rehearsals okay. with DJ Trace because that's mm-hmm. that's the DJ that I usually use because mm-hmm. he gives amazing introductions. Mm-hmm. So I definitely try to do that. And honestly, sometimes I just wing it. Okay. Give us an example of when you winged it. A, a lot of times. And when the, well, all right. So how do you feel about <laughs> winging it though? Like, um, I'm a natural performer. Okay. So sometimes it works really well for me, but I don't recommend that. Okay. Because well, if you're not a performer like that, then it won't work. Right. So winging it as far as like, you just don't know what songs to do next. Or you, cause no, winging it as if I don't have no rehearsals, no vocal rehearsals. Oh, like I just, just go in there and just perform. Okay. Yeah, right. that's what I mean when I wing it. Okay. But okay. I, I always like, sometimes it'd be the day of and I'd be like, I'd be asking my team, I'd be like, yo, like. What songs should I perform? Mm-hmm. And we just be in the group chat trying to decide. Because you know every crowd is different. Right. Depending on the show. Nah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Who's, um, who do you feel like is a good performer, though? Like in general? Yeah, me too. Whoever. I mean, I was always a Beyonce fan. Of course. I was always a Beyonce fan. So yeah. that's like kind of like where my inspiration came from mm-hmm. when it comes to performing. Okay. Like I want to put on a show. Okay. Okay. And do you, do you want to do another show soon before the year ends? Maybe. But you might chill? Yeah, like right now I just really want to focus on putting out my visuals, mm-hmm. putting out some more content. Okay. But I don't want to do too many shows. So I, when I do my next show, I want everybody to come out. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. All right, so we're closing out the year. Is there anything else we should be expecting or are you just promoting the project? Or? Yeah, I'm definitely going to promote the project. And I'm definitely going to put in some freestyles in between because, you know, I always got to give my fans some new stuff. <laughs> I can't have them just listen to the same thing over and over again. Of course. So freestyles, yeah. maybe a deluxe? Maybe. Maybe. We was thinking about that. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Maybe some remixes. You never know. Okay. I feel like she got whoever is going to be on this remix <laughs> and she's just holding it. But all right. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words you want to tell people? You want to tell the world? Yeah, it's just, chest? you know, my fans, thank you so much. Like, everybody that support me. Y'all keep me going. Um, definitely tune into my tape, like a G mixtape. It's on Apple, it's on Spotify, it's everywhere. And yeah, follow me, Steph G on Instagram and everywhere mm-hmm. else. <laughs>